Big T here. Today I'm going to tie a midge pattern that I came up with that I call the Moonshine Midge. This fly has been extremely effective and consistent regardless of the time of year I fish it. Certain patterns I find are more effective seasonally. This seems to work year round. Midges are by definition tiny flying non-biting insects. So gnats, things like that fall into that category and they're prevalent in tailwaters but actually exist in most of our streams. I'm going to start with a size 16 hook. This is a scud hook. Some people call it a midge hook. It's a curved hook and I'm going to tie in with black dot uni thread a piece of copper crystal flash. On this fly I'm using a two and a half millimeter copper tungsten countersunk bead. I'm not going to worry about building up too much of a thread body or a taper. I like this to be very slim profiled fly to help it sink quickly. But I do want to wrap enough to make sure that I've got coverage on the hook with my thread. I'm going to then create a ribbing or a ribbed effect with that crystal flash. And depending on sometimes just how I feel, but more so whether I'm trying to go for a more natural look or a more flashy look, I will space out the distance between the ribs differently. Sometimes very sparsely, sometimes I'll go so far as to cover the majority of the hook almost like a Copper John. The Crystal Flash is not a very durable material. It will get chewed up pretty easily. And fish will be biting this fly, so count on that. So I like to apply a UV resin to that. And I'm going to flip it upside down because if it's going to pool up anywhere, I want that to be on the back of the fly. If you don't have UV cure, no big deal. Just throw on some Sally Hansen's or some sort of clear nail polish. There will be times that I'll fish the fly as it sits right here, but other times and the majority of the time, I do like to add a thorax and occasionally I'll just use a black dubbing, but in this circumstance and the majority of the time again, I'm going to use a peacock curl. I think the fuzziness of the hurl gives a great gill effect. You can tie that with or without the tail that I've added. I do find it tends to fish better with that addition a majority of the time. Add a little zappa gap to my thread. A few whip finish turns. And that fly's finished. Low profile, sinks quick, fish is great. Can be used year round in just about any body of water. That is the Moonshine Midge. Thanks for watching. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel as I continue to post videos weekly.